Ave Maria, we begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Merry Christmas to all of you, and the Happy New Year of St. Joseph, which began on the 8th of December 2020, and is going to run to the 8th of December 2021. So today we are going to discuss about the spiritual plan for 2021, how you can be ready for the coming year, how you can make a solid foundation for the coming year so that the winds and storms of 2021 do not sweep you away. So I always tell people that every year is going to be worse than the last. That is something you should get used to by now. Do not be taken away by the false prophets who tell you that there is going to be good, double, double, you know. Every year more demons are released from hell, so every year becomes worse. However, the difference between you having a bad year and a good year is how you prepare for it. So in this video, I'm going to give you 15 ways, 15 solid ways, how you can make sure that your 2021 is going to be good. Because by these 15 ways, you're going to prepare and lay a very good foundation so that the storms and winds of 2021, and trust me, they're going to come. When they come, they find when your house, and by your house I mean your body, mind, and soul, are rooted in a very good place, and so you will not be shaken. So, number 15, I'm asking you please to join devotional groups at your parish, at your parish. And I would recommend that you join those groups Every church has them, every Catholic church. It is very imperative that you join groups which grow your spirituality. Do not join groups because you want something. And the best group for this, the best group I would recommend is the Legion of Mary. However, to join the Legion of Mary, you must be a practicing Catholic. You must be receiving the sacraments. So if you qualify, please join the Legion of Mary. We are going through a rough patch. You need all the help that you can. Please, if you can, join the Legion of Mary. You can also join the group which prays for the Holy Souls in Purgatory and many others. The church has so many, but those are the two that I would recommend. Number 14, I'm advising everyone who is watching and listening to use your phone profitably. This is the age of social media. This is the age of technology. However, how you use your phone can determine how your year goes. Please do not be taken away by the fashions and maxims of this world. Do not be the one to rush into every challenge that comes on Facebook or Twitter or WhatsApp. Jesus says we are of this we are in this world, but we are not of this world we are in this world but we are not of this world that means not everything that comes on social media should take you just because everyone is posting something doesn't mean you should post it make sure that what you post helps you and your neighbor to grow spiritually don't just post things because they are funny you're not a comedian you are here to earn heaven let your phone help you to earn heaven not to lose it Number 13, we get this from the book of the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 6, where Jesus teaches about prayer, almsgiving, and fasting. These three go hand in hand. You cannot pray effectively if you're not fasting and you're not giving alms. I talked about prayer in another video. If you didn't watch it, please look for it. Fasting is basically doing some kind of sacrifice. And it is something that you do to weaken your body. And as you weaken your body, your spirit becomes stronger. Like we know, like St. Paul told us, there is a constant battle between the flesh and the spirit. So do not pamper your flesh. Please work for your spirit, especially by fasting. Fasting helps you to overcome your passions especially passions like lust. If you're suffering from lust, please try to 
first from food and do alms giving that is a work of charity read matthew chapter 6 you will see how jesus advises us to do do not do these things to be seen do not take selfies when you're helping people do it in secret so that your father who sees everything in secret will reward you number 12 you need to do a lot of spiritual reading please read what the saints have written their sermons their books especially the doctors of the church pay close attention to those people like saint thomas aquinas people like saint alphonsus marie de Rigori. they wrote extensively so much that you can benefit for your spirituality please this year make it a point read the saints number 11 i also talked about this in a video where the brown scapular of our lady of mount Carmel. for that information about the scapular look for the video talking about the scapular the scapular is the garment worn by the children of mother mary if you need her protection and guidance please start 2021 wearing the scapular you need to understand how it works you need to be invested by a priest and all the rest they are in another video if you're interested please look for it Number 10, I'm advising everyone to take up a devotion to St. Philomena, whom I also did in another video. You can also watch that. St. Philomena is an amazing saint. She can do things. I've recommended so many people to St. Philomena, and the, the testimonies and miracles that they are telling me are immense. Please read about St. Philomena. If you do not know, if you do not have any information about her, you can please contact me. I'll give you a free PDF. But in this age of internet, really, you can find that information anywhere. Number nine is having a devotion to St. Joseph. Pope Francis decreed the year of St. Joseph starting on 8th December 2020, running up to 8th December 2021. If you've not consecrated yourself, St. Joseph, please do. Is a book that talks about consecration saint joseph by father don calloway if you do not have the book please get in touch you're going to be helping a lot of people to do consecration saint joseph saint joseph is the greatest male saint that ever lived he's so powerful because he was the foster father of jesus jesus looked up to him he was very holy by virtue of this office of being the father of jesus he was given so many graces and he is much more powerful now that he is in heaven please do a devotion to saint joseph i'm going to do a video about saint joseph in the future please when it comes out watch it read about saint joseph and start a serious devotion to your spiritual father saint joseph saint joseph the word the name joseph means increase so is going to increase your blessings and is going to put you under his protection number eight it should be something not new but i'll just wait and say it every person whether catholic or not needs a devotion to our lady to the blessed virgin mary so being devoted to mother mary does not mean that you go around saying i'm a son or daughter of mother mary it involves what you say what you think what you do must reflect the holiness of our lady you cannot call yourself a daughter or son of mother mary when you go around dressing indecently you're the one who is posting indecent photos on your status on your facebook on your social media mother mary does not like these things mother mary likes modesty decency so please be a child of our lady and go under her protection number seven you need an altar a home altar where you can pray if you do not have an altar in your home please start on it before 2021 begins by the time we get into the new year you should be having an altar there is a video about and how to make a home altar if you subscribe to my channel, you can check through the list of the videos. You will see how to make a home altar. Number five, 
avoiding I think I skipped something devotion to our lady was number eight home altar is number six so I skipped number seven which is reading of scripture you need to read the Bible understanding it and understand it it is the word of God you if even if you do not have a Bible though I recommend that you get one you can have a Bible app the best Bible app I can recommend there is called Katena because it has is the way the saints explain the Bible passages so that app you can get it from Play Store it's called Katena C A T E N A and then make sure that at least you read 30 minutes per day from the Bible it is one of the ways you can get a plenary indulgence so it's good for you in either way number six is home altar i went through that number five avoiding sin and occasions of sin why is it important to avoid sin because when you're in a state of mortal sin no good act of yours gains you merit when you're in a state of mortal sin you are separated from the blessings of god the father like the prodigal son you have cut yourself off from God, so you've told God, I'm no longer interested in what you have to offer me as the Father. I can do it on my own. So you do not receive the serious graces. So it's very important to stay in a state of grace, avoid sin. And when you sin, please run for confession. It's available. Priests are there for you. And the occasions of sin, these are occasions where you where the sin comes from. For example, avoid going to nightclubs, it's an occasion of sin. Avoid being in the company of the person of the opposite sex for a night, for example, if they are staying alone. Avoid bars, you can get drunk and do something that you're going to regret. So not only are you to avoid sin, but also the occasions of sin. Everyone knows which occasions where the sins they do come from so look at your heart and see where your sin comes from cut that off you'll be good to go number four is going for mass frequently we all know that mass is the greatest prayer out there there are so many graces that you can get from mass so please attend mass as often as you can and be in a good dispose your heart to be in a good place to receive the blessings and graces that flow from us number three frequent confession and holy communion those are receiving the sacraments what they did and frequently especially the sacrament of reconciliation or what normally people call confession or penance and you must know how to get a valid confession you must know how to do an examination of conscience at first and you see what you've done wrong you must know how to get disgusted with your sin you must how, how, know how to make a resolution not to do the sins that you're going to confess and then confessing them to a priest and then doing the satisfaction for those sins and then receiving holy communion worthily and frequently Number two, which most of us ignore, is praying for the souls in purgatory. This is very huge. This, we call them holy souls because they can no longer lose their salvation. Anytime they are going to heaven, it is a sure deal. It is a matter of when. So they are holy. They can no longer offend God. That means they can pray for us. Unfortunately, they cannot pray for themselves. They rely on us to pray for them. So, And all of us have lost a loved one at some time at some point so why wouldn't you pray for those people if they can't pray for themselves it is the greatest act of charity that you can do and these people also pray for you god grants so many graces for people who remember these holy souls mother mary is the queen of these souls she loves them so much but unfortunately they are not yet in heaven so it is our duty to pray for these people for these souls and also, they are also praying for us. When these people get to heaven, all they do is to pray for us. So please start a very good devotion of praying for the Holy Souls in purgatory every day, in whichever way you can. And now we come to the last point. Point number one. And this is the one you should focus on. And I always say this. Pray the rosary every day. Every single day. The minimum you can do is pray one rosary. That's the bare minimum. 
if you're not praying the rosary daily, you are shooting yourself in the foot. You're not helping yourself. You're not building a very solid foundation. I explained about Mother Mary and how she's the woman of Genesis and the woman of Revelation in another video. How she's the one fighting the battle of God against the snake or the devil. So if and this is her number one weapon, the rosary and the scapula. So if you're not wearing the scapula and praying the rosary daily, you're not on the winning team. So prepare for 2021 by praying the rosary every single day. When you get to praying one rosary per day, then you can increase to two, then to three, and as many as you can. Bare minimum one rosary per day. This is the weapon of our lady. It came down from heaven. It is a meditation on the gospel. So this is a, praying the rosary is meditating on the Bible, on the mysteries of our salvation. All the saints were devoted to the rosary. So please pray the rosary every day from now until the day that you die. Then you will be safe. Whatever comes, you will be under the mantle of our lady. Otherwise, once again, I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year of St. Joseph. Please be devoted to our lady and St. Joseph. Pray the rosary daily, avoid sin and all the other things that I've talked about. You will be fine. Whatever comes, and I'm telling you, a lot of bad things are coming, but you will be safe. This will be the difference between you and people who will be crying by February or March that the year is terrible. Because they did not prepare, they did not dig a deep foundation. Please subscribe for more videos. And share. And like. So that this channel can grow. God bless you. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Ghost.